Hi there. This is Lessons in 10 Minutes. I'm Dr. PK. And today we're going to be talking about college and career readiness. I want to open up by calling attention to our desire that you consider yourself not just students, but constituents in a club responsible for helping you chase and find clarity in your dreams and career search. This year, more than any other year, it's going to be crucial for you students to examine your commitment to your classes, your commitment to your credits, your commitment to your career, and your commitment to college if you so choose. Things have been crazy and chaotic with coronavirus and COVID-19. The challenge will be trying to continue your education in a manner that will help you catch up with that future self. All right, we teachers and parents know that it's been hard. <laughs> yeah, it's been hard on everyone, right? And we care about your sense of security and safety as you come back to the school year. Right? Every year you come back, year after year after year, regardless of the conditions. We may check in on you frequently, starting with today. Know that your coming to school is not just about a routine, but it's about making a choice to develop the skills necessary for college and career success. We know that not all of you love all of your classes. Let's be candid about this. Let's be candid about your comfort and your compatibility with your own school experience. Maybe you don't cozy up with a math problem, and writing a paper feels like a chore. We get it. Calculus is not convenient and you feel like you won't use it at all. Creative writing and understanding characterization feel like coercions cast upon you that you must conquer. Consider this though. Your math class is not just about learning specific formulas, but it's about learning how to solve equations. What is life? but a series of variables to which you have to riddle through what you know and what you don't know in order to figure something out. So math really is about developing your own procedure and formula for success. English class is about communication and cultivating the cognitive ability to construct a way to find meaning in not just your own story, but stories around the human condition. Why do we do the things we do as people? How do we suffer? How do we struggle? How do we get through? Other courses may confer different feelings, some commendable and some charming, while others cheeky and calamitous. Whether you're cognizant of it or not, Teachers want to celebrate your success as we start the year with a clean slate. Believe me, you think you don't like this teacher and she doesn't like you, but believe me, they want you to be successful. In order to do that, you need to be custodians of your own learning as teachers become cheerleaders and you become co-constructors of a community of scholars. Help create a classroom culture where you coordinate with classmates to foster a sense of belonging. You're all in here together. You're all in this for a reason. It's about college and career. You belong to a cohort seeking the habits and customs of someone conscientiously working towards college and career success. There is a dream in there. That dream is for you. You need to help find it. And your classmates, your cohort, will help you do that. How does what you learn in school coalesce with the aspirations of your dreams to become a carpenter or in the trades? How will you build your constitution for life as an aspiring clinician in medical school? Are you comfortable with how much studying you're going to have to do? Can you start training now? Maybe it's about learning how to collaborate so that you're better prepared for life in commerce. What is business but a way to collaborate and work with other people? How will you work with conviction towards dreams of becoming a chemist or a chemical engineer? Maybe you'll need to be convinced that computers and programming careers are compatible with languages you learn in schools. What's programming but a language? A series of operations, a series of rules, learning how to memorize things. Start by looking for connections you see in certain classes or career interests. Be careful not to close the doors 
on developing habits and skills that you might consider useful in the future. Even if you're working a course you find to be cheerless, cloudy, clumsy, you might learn about cracking through challenging situations and developing skills in problem solving and persistence. You're going to find that in your real job. It's okay to be confused about what course of action to take in your life. Some people feel confident about these choices and they feel like they know what they want to do. Look around, there's probably a couple kids in this class that feel that way. Others struggle with either where they are or where they want to be. In Raising a Son, one of the best American plays in history, Walter Lee Younger struggles with his career as a chauffeur as the play debates the merits of the American dream. Boy, you got a job, a fine wife, a son, A yes. job? Now, I open and close car doors all day. I drive a man around in his limousine and I say, yes, sir, and no, sir, and shall I take the drive, sir? Mama, that ain't no kind of a job. That ain't nothing at all. Compare this and contrast this with the comedy on Netflix called Kate and Alexa and you'll see whether someone is older or younger, trying to identify one's context and purpose is perhaps life's greatest conundrum for a human being. Yeah, this year's going by crazy fast and before you know it, we'll be graduating and the rest of our lives. Why are we here? What can I do for society? What will society do with me? Picking a major and a career seem momentous and it can be confounding. I have no idea what I'm going to study. But that's okay, right? Nobody knows what they're going to study yet. Oh, computer programming. Communications. Engineering. Political science. You don't necessarily need to command and conquer this decision at this moment. It could be a lifetime search, finding this one's grand purpose. This is why Learning the skills in your classes may be just as important as trying to find connections and meanings between those classes and lifelong habits. This year, think about it. What customs and habits carry over from career to career, from your personal life to your professional life, from this cohort to the next? How can your teacher be a consultant for you in this path? Have a conversation with them. And if you can't work with them, might your counselor or your coach fill this chasm? In John Steinbeck's classic of Mice and Men, Candy, Crooks, George, and Lenny are all characters that grapple with their own sense of purpose and their roles as workers in someone else's camp. They dream of having their own place where they can be their own bosses. It's a story as much about companionship as it is about finding power through one's own job prospects. Set in California during the Great Depression, there are commonalities to job considerations people might have during today's unemployment situation, during today's working with the gig economy, during the struggles to work through low paying service jobs. You know, those jobs that you might get as a young student. Another classic that captures and questions people's sense of purpose in life is The Catcher in the Rye. In this novel, Holden Caulfield, the central character, struggles with conformity and how people seemingly go through life without challenging the purpose of why we do the things that we do. Why are you here? Why is your teacher teaching you this? Instead, we simply go along with what others do as we conform to the rules of society. Holden Caulfield makes us wonder about our own values and in some ways, He's a champion for nonconformists, even if he's fairly cantankerous in his comic quips. Some people are turned off by how much of a curmudgeon and a complainer Holden is. But he ultimately reminds us of some of our own tendencies to be critical, especially of other people who seemingly have a clear path when we ourselves are so lost. Right? Haven't you ever done that? Complained about a classmate, complained about an assignment, complained about another student, complained about a teacher? The novel's themes are so reminiscent of Echo Smith's cool kids who seem to have it all put together. How do you feel about where you're at in comparison to others? How does this create anxiety for you? Do you compare yourself to these cool kids? Yeah, they're invincible, and she's just in the background. 
How might consulting with a teacher or counselor help? Even Shakespeare's challenging play Macbeth explores the idea of accepting one station in life or fighting for a better position on the ladder of life. The main character Macbeth struggles with saucy doubts and fears as he tries to advance himself and rise in the ranks. At one point, he ends up feeling cabin, cribbed, and confined in his own fears and insecurities related to his situation, even after achieving great status. Thus, the challenge in life is of learning how to not only achieve success, but also how to maintain comfort with that status. In another Shakespearean play, the saying, quote, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, fits this idea well. Where have you been crowned? Where have you been accomplished? How do you continue to celebrate this achievement? What ultimately will you do to achieve a certain position in your life? What are you willing to give up or sacrifice? Maybe it's chatting with friends. Maybe it's studying a little bit more. Maybe it's putting away that cell phone. Many questions abound as you contemplate how school and your classes fit into your college and career readiness. Talk to your teacher about these concepts early and often, and your teachers should try to incorporate these ideas into the classes themselves so you have a chance to think about them. Help your teachers become not only your cheerleaders in your learning, but champions for you to find college and career success. As I always tell my students, your success is my success. The same goes with the class that you're sitting in right now. I wish you the best as you look for college and career success. This is Dr. PK, and this has been Life Lessons in 10 Minutes. Your world has been lit.